Have you ever found yourself in this kind of a situation? You need to record some keyboard parts, so you drag your favorite synth onto your track here in Ableton. You might as well load up a preset. Let's select this one. And I'm just going to play some notes here. Okay, seems to be working. But then when you want to apply some pitch band action or some modulation of some sort, watch what happens. Nothing happens at all. So I'm playing some notes here. And even as I move my pitch pen wheel, nothing happens. And the reason for that is this little writing right here that says MPE, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression, I think. And it's a new protocol whereby, I think that's the one where you can just, you know, move your fingers on the keys to apply, you know, pitch band and modulation and what have you. But whenever that is enabled, the old traditional MIDI messages for pitch band, etc., are not coming through. So what you want to do is you want to right click there and disable MPE. Mode. Press the notes now. Now I finally have access to my pitch band wheel again. Uh, the problem is if I remove this instance and drag a fresh one onto my track, there it is again. So whenever you create a new track and start working on a new sound, you're gonna have to right click and disable MPE, which is a little annoying. And so there is a way luckily to make it so that Ableton loads up your synth without MPE enabled. And the way to do that is, first of all, you wanna make sure that your synth is in its initialized state, right? Which it is, and then once you have to disabled MPE, you want to save as default configuration. Now that we've done that, even if we remove Vital or whatever MPE enabled synth, I mean, I only have Vital, so I only ever tested it in Vital, but I would assume that whenever a synth is MPE enabled, Ableton would automatically enable that feature by default. Now that we've done the save as default configuration trick, if I drag Vital back onto this track, as you can see, it's not MPE enabled. Now, if for whatever reason you want to revert back to Ableton's original default, so with MPE enabled, you just go Go to your music folder. I think it's the same on Mac and Windows. You want to open your Ableton folder, your user library, defaults, plugin configurations. In my case, I'm using the audio unit version of Vital. If you're on Windows, you're probably using VST3 or VST. And in my case, it's Vital. If you're using another synth, it's going to be that synth's manufacturer name. But at the end of it all, <laughs> you will reach the default file, which you can then remove. And so now, if I remove Vital from here and drag a fresh instance of it back onto our track, as you can see, MPE is enabled again. So that's all I have for you today. Just a quick tutorial on this, because it's been annoying me for way too long and so I looked into it and found these solutions. So if those were helpful to you as well, let me know in the comments, leave a like, leave a subscribe and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week with a new video. Take care.